CMO head coach Tom Matukowicz, the team 26-13 winners at Charleston Southern last week, moved up to number six in both polls, the highest ranking in program history. They're back home this week. They're going to host Gardner-Webb uh, at 2 o'clock on Saturday. So, Coach, some thoughts about your team, and we'll go to some questions. Yeah, it feels really good to be 7-1. and one. Um, You know, it feels like – we're hanging on a thread at times, you know, we've been uh, hit by the injury bug, all those type of things. But that being said, this team is seems resilient. Uh, it was nice to go on the road um, and get a win. I thought Charleston Southern did a nice job. They were prepared. They uh, were excited to play, played physical, had some nice scheme. And so feel great about uh, coming away with that win. And now we're looking forward to be at home. Uh, homecoming uh, and you know we got to do everything we can to be ready for this football game you know we get a week off afterwards so be no excuse not to um, you know be ready for this uh, football game. Uh, it seemed at the beginning just the teams were battling back and forth it was seven six Charleston Southern at one point in the second quarter before you all had 10 straight points any reason for just like sort of a slow start to the game for, for both teams? Well, I mean, I think just Georgia Southern was playing uh, – not Georgia Southern. Charleston Southern was playing uh, really good, um, you know, and uh, we're moving the ball, all those type of things. Uh, but you had several field goals, and they had some nice option scheme. Uh, I think they had like 80 yards rushing in the first quarter that we had to kind of get settled down. Um, so uh, they just – they they had a um, just a nice start to the game. I know, I think maybe Jake or somebody asked you about this before, but it seems like D.C. Pippen, when you all, if you all don't score, he's there to kick field goals and, and one of the top in the country and field goals made per game. Can you just talk to his consistency? Yeah, he's done a great job. Uh, you know, he's a walk-on kid that was in a fraternity that kind of just came out and started kicking. And we have been, uh, been here with him for a while here and just have watched him grow and get better. It uh, seems like every year and um, he works really, really hard at his craft. And I'm happy that he's starting to see some of this, some of these results that he's been uh, looking for. Let's talk a little bit more about your defense. And it just seems, uh, you, again, you have a number of people who are making, uh, making contributions. And whether that shows up in the stats or just the pressure they get, Charleston Southern's coach said that Cairo was one of the ones that really disrupted you last week. But just overall, just the defense continues to play well for you. Yeah, no, they they've been uh, been outstanding, very consistent. I think we have, uh, you know, just a really nice um, front seven. I think what makes this front seven a little different is we're multiple, meaning that we can play against the run. We're strong enough. We got good run fundamentals, but we're also uh, twitchy and. Um, you know, our pass rush fundamentals are good. And so we're able to not only stop the run, but also, uh, you know, get after the passer. And so that's been very helpful. You're playing a Gardner Webb team that shared the conference crown last year, went to the playoffs, uh, new coach, obviously, but, um, you know, they had a, a two game losing streak, but a big, a big win, 42 points this past week against Luna Wood. Thoughts on them? Yeah, I think um, probably the thing that stands out is, you know, offensively they got some – starts with some really good scheme. They stretch you vertically and horizontally. Um, got some really nice, talented players. The running backs, tight end, uh, it's got really good skill. Um, and so, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm concerned, you know, with the injuries that we've had, I don't think we're too hard to beat. You know, uh, the margins aren't there uh, like they, they would have been, uh, you know, if we've been able to stay healthy. So we're going to have to play really, really well um, to uh, be able to win this football game. But I'm excited about that challenge. And this one thing this team has done is is week in, week out, they put the work in to be ready for the opportunity. And I know they'll come up here fired up. Um, but um, we play well at home. It's homecoming. It's going to be a great crowd that I expect that, uh, you know, they're going to get our best shot. Uh, let me just ask you about the ranking, too, the highest in program history. And when you win and you play well and you win games and you're seven and one, the ranking sort of goes along with that, right? Just what's it mean to, to, to achieve the highest ranking ever in SEMO uh, football Division One history? Well, first, you know, we'll – 
run the highlights at the end of the year, you know, and that's certainly a highlight. Uh, that's a, quite an accomplishment and uh, it's hard to do. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, number seven and number eight last week lost to unranked opponents. And that's why we got moved to number six. And so, you know, if those are our focus, then that's where, you know, that's the crack that um, Gardner Webb needs. Um, but I'm proud of the work this team's done, been a part of. Um, coming off a of four and seven year, you know, you got all these question marks about what's going on. Um, and uh, it's it's just certainly a, um, you know, just an exciting and, and I'm just proud, I guess is the best word. I'm proud of a lot of people. Um, and uh, you don't have those kind of things happen without just a ton of support from the university, from administration to fan base. Um, and then not, let alone all these seniors and, and great players that we have. You referenced that after this week, you do, uh, you do have the open date. And I know you've said you have some injuries, uh, you know, it's not, not looking too far ahead, but would, you know, if you win the game and you have the open date, you might get some players back, right? It seems like that would be the open dates going to come in a good time for you. It is. No, we, our schedule works out pretty good. Um, you know, we're, you know, uh, get a break when we need it. Um, and so we're, we're happy to, to be able to do that after this week, you know, but again, the focus has got to be, how do we prepare? Well, um, you know, I guess a really talented Gardner web offense and, you know, offensively, how can we score touchdowns in the red zone, not have to set up for fear goals, you know, don't turn it over. We got to create takeaways, you know, all the things it takes to, um, beat division one football team. So we're, we're pretty locked in here. Coach, appreciate your time as always. Best of luck this weekend, uh, and we'll talk to you again next week. Yeah, thanks, Kyle.